boys and girls, today we're talking about context clues. And context clues are something that we have done over and over and over again this year. And um, when you have context clues, when we're looking for context clues, you're most likely looking for them because you're very unsure of a word that you have found in your reading. And um, you're either going to be looking for an example of what that word could mean, um, a explanation, you could be looking for a synonym or an antonym, so a word that's the same or a word that's opposite of the word that you might be a little bit confused on. And today, what you're going to be working on is a little bit more challenging maybe than normal. So I'm going to do the first one with you and then you'll be able to do the rest of them on your own. And the first thing I wanna do is read the directions. It says answer the questions that follow by writing the correct letter on each line. So obviously we're gonna write the letter that we want or you can circle it or underline it. Um, and underline the clues in the sentence that help you define the term. So for the first one we have, Margaret had an ambivalent feeling about attending the concert. She knew she enjoyed the music, but she didn't really want to go out in the rainy weather. So we have this word ambivalent. Man, that might be a word that you've never seen before. This is a challenging word. And what could ambivalent mean? So a lot of times you can substitute your answers in there and see what makes sense. Um, but let's see what else is in these sentences. So she knew she'd enjoy the music. So we know that she probably liked going to the concert, but she didn't want to be in the weather. So it seems like she's kind of like a little bit confused. So which one of these would be the best answer? That she had mixed feelings, A, angry feelings, B, or C, distrustful feelings. And I feel like the best answer would be A, mixed feelings, because She's definitely not angry about it, and it doesn't sound like she's distrustful, but it definitely sounds like she's unsure or she is having mixed feelings. And then we look at what in there helped me know that that was the answer. Well, I know that she said she knew she'd enjoy the music, but she didn't really want to go out in the rainy weather. So there I did the first one definitely underlined what I needed. And then which type of context clue hints at the word's meaning? Are we giving an example, an explanation, a synonym, or an antonym? Well, I definitely know I can get rid of synonym and antonym because it didn't give me any other words here that were similar to ambivalent or opposite of ambivalent. So now I'm looking at example or explanation. An explanation would be something saying like, um, Margaret had ambivalent feelings about attending the concert. She wasn't sure what she wanted to do. That would be an explanation. That didn't have it. They were just giving us A, examples. More of like an example of what ambivalent means. Now your job is to do the remainders on your own and then go ahead and submit that as your assignment today.